What's up, what's good, what's poppin'? I'm AJ Monroe. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've been here, what have you done to change your life? So today it looks a little different. We're actually on my webcam today. Um, I think this is kind of like, again, always a testament of where we are at. Uh, I did not feel up to filming today, and this is what is happening. Anyways, welcome to the third installment of Thick Thursdays. This week is about the importance of vitamins. According to HealthGuide.org, vitamins and minerals are considered essential nutrients because acting in concert, they perform hundreds of roles in the body. They help shore up bones, heal wounds, and blush your immune system. They also convert food into energy and repair cellular damage. Okay, so looking into this, I actually learned that um, you can contract scurvy, blindness, and something called rickets from not having like enough vitamins and minerals. I mean, that's not what I'm here to tell you about, but I just want you to know to get, get your vitamins because scurvy, that don't sound like something we want around here. We're trying to go up. Scurvy just sounds like we're not pirates, you know? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna tell you about to be it, uh, but you figure out how to not get scurvy. So <laughs> there are like a multitude of vitamins actually that you need to kind of like help your body continue to function, but there are also a multitude of vitamins that you need to help your beard flourish. Um, I'm not going to tell you all of them, so I, I'm just not a doctor. A couple of them you can't take with other prescriptions, other medications, so I decided to leave those out just because, you know, we ain't trying to case nobody up. Let's be completely honest, ain't none of y'all going to the doctor because you don't want to. So we won't put you in any kind of situation where you need to go and spend money that you don't want to spend. So, one, biotin. So biotin um, promotes the creation of creatine, which is hair, which is a hair growth promoter. Uh, this is a must-have in your beard. Get your beard together. Um, you should take these vitamins every day. Go get you some biotin right now, um, and then you come back and watch the rest of this if you're one of those people who just can't do too much at one time. For the rest of you multitaskers, let's go on to vitamin 2, vitamin C. We've all heard of this. You know, you can get it from my oranges. Um, but it helps boost your immune system and stay healthy in these hard times. But it also promotes thicker hair growth. And during the times of corona, we just need a healthy immune system. Because why are you trying to be your best self if you're not going to be around to be your best self? All right. And vitamin 3. So we love a good short short block. We do. We do. Period. None of these are going to be over five minutes. That's a lot because we're hitting 430 right now. Vitamin A promotes a natural moisturizer called sebum and it helps keep the beard moisturized like I'm always screaming about. Moisturize your beard. I, I didn't moisturize mine today in transparency. We actually shaved off my beard a little bit. Um, I went to my friend Eugene and we're working on a hair journey video. Uh, because I haven't been able to get a haircut in a while, which explains the hat. I hate the hat. But we are working on a hair journey because I have so much of it right now. And that was really exciting, actually. But either way, we were talking about like how vitamin A uh, was important to help my hair growth. And she was just like, you know, you already have kind of like thick, coarse hair, but that is completely fine. We want a little bit thicker. Anyways, for niacin. Uh, this big guy helps your helps blood flow, and that's something that just kind of like consistently has been coming up within this research. So yeah, I've heard a lot about blood flow. You should actually be massaging your face to help the blood flow to your beard. Um, but if you don't want to do this, also take some niacin. Um, and last but not least, because we love a short video, fish oil. So fish oil actually contains omega-3s that are really great for hair growth, helping that uh, beard grow in nice, thick, and shiny. So those are just a couple of vitamins, five, five in total, four plus a bonus um, to add to your daily regimen. Remember, we are moisturizing our face every day, agitating it. Take a brush to that several times a day. And now we are taking our vitamins every day. So all of this, to be completely honest, will take you literally five minutes out of your day to get you a nice little popping beard.
Um, with that being said, I'm AJ Monroe. This has been Thick Thursdays, and now we're one week closer to no longer being crusty. Don't forget to take time out every day to figure out what you're going to do better in your life, and you have a great day. See you guys soon.